Hey everybody, Jess here with Tara. I'm gonna do a quick reading for the Aries Feminines for the month of December 2020, but don't worry about it if you're listening to it at a different time. That's just when you're meant to hear it, all right? And do be sure to check out your uh, other signs inside your chart to see if there are any other readings that may resonate for you. All right, I'm gonna say a quick blessing and then we're just gonna get started, okay? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All right, we're going to get started with the Tarot of Wonderland for you guys. In your pre-shuffle, um, we had some devil energy that came out. What else did we have after that? We had the Knight of Cups. Something else after that. I'm going to think about it, and it'll come to me. We'll see. If they need to come back out again, we'll find out. It could just be some energies that you're moving through. We have the Empress in reverse. Darn it, though. <laughs> Something's got you kind of kind of feeling upside down a little bit. All right, feeling maybe not like your best self, maybe like you don't have what it what you need to support some kind of situation. Maybe a lot of people are asking a lot of things of you right now, and maybe you feel like you don't really have the resources to support um, what's being asked of you. Interesting. Thank you. Oh golly, I got the high priestess in reverse. Okay, this is something that's um it's loose ends that need to be tied up. It's like learning a final lesson about something and it's really, really getting clear with some intuition, um, some red flags that you may have been missing in the past and kind of starting to look at those, see them for what they are, definitely contributing to some instability within your home or within yourself. I get the Ace of Swords. This is someone who wants to write something. They want to say something. Um, this is the Sword of Truth, and it's really about putting pen to paper, or in these days, it's fingers to keyboards, right? Thumbs. <laughs> get your thumbs working, right? Um, it's, it's definitely somebody who wants to tell the truth about something. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like you. It feels like you want to express yourself, express your truth. Okay. I got the king of swords in reverse. Okie dokie. Um, you or someone else may have stuck their foot in their mouth. They may have done something rashly. They may not have thought before they said something. Uh, they may have popped off some comment online or something. This may be you. I don't know. Something that you may have regretted later. It can be um, almost verbally abusive. I don't know if this is you or someone else's energy in your area. Um, but it, it has you wanting to talk about it. It has you kind of wanting to express your side of the story. Or um, let's find out more. Mm. I'm going to come back through and clarify with another deck. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, we got drama now. Oh, man. I don't like it for you. I want it to get better. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Let's see. Let's get to the end of this and let's see what we can do, if anything. Because I, the way I feel about tarot is it's never really going to tell you like all the secrets and mysteries of your life. It's not really going to tell you your future. But what it can do is it can kind of clarify where you are right now and kind of show you the trajectory of where you're headed. That way we can make different choices for the future and we can kind of decide if we want to change that trajectory, right? Right now you got a little bit of drama either within yourself or um, coming at you um, externally. Mm, it kind of feels like uh, a battle that you've fought over and over and over again. It kind of feels like the same drama, different day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Uh -huh. Eight of Cups, uh, that's true. It's like I really, really want to be able to walk away from this, but for some reason you feel quite attached to the situation. Um, maybe like you can't really get away from it. It could be family members, um, close friends or something that you've gotten yourself into kind of an altercation with, and now you're really, uh, it's, it's like I'd like to let go of it, but it just won't, uh, just won't leave kind of thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Well, this is good. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so I have a lot of positive changes coming in and you really, really knowing that you are the one who's in charge of making this situation better because you're able to. You actually have the resources and the help to 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 fix this situation. It's really just a waiting game is what I hear. This Nine of Cups, it, it, the reason I say that is because it's a Three of Wands. It's a card of manifestation. It's a card of knowing what's coming ahead of time. And this Nine of Cups, really, um, it's it's wish fulfillment. It's getting what you want, ultimately. Getting what you want, ultimately. And now, I'm not sure how we get from there to here, but uh, or from here to there. But let's pull some more cards and let's find out. Let me just find out if I need any more from this deck. This is the Tarot of Wonderland by Barbara Moore. Thank you. Ah, 
look at that. I got the Ace of Wands. We have a brand new start. It's kind of a trail blazing energy. Very you, very you. All right. Ace of Wands. It's um, it's a highly sexually passionate card. Um, it's like, uh, it's, it's a spark of interest. That's for sure. It's a passionate new beginning. Um, something about the mushroom cloud in the back. Um, cautiously optimistic that this is a good thing. All right, I'm gonna put this over here on the side, which is as it came out, again, on top of that Three of Wands and that Nine of Cups telling me that you're the one in charge of driving the way that this looks, this the way that this goes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's clarify with the Star Power Tarot over here. Why do we have, I wanna take it all the way back over here to this Empress in Reverse kind of find out why you got you all up in your feels and why you're not really feeling like your best self or why you're feeling kind of unsupported here. I'm hearing unsupported. Maybe somebody disagrees with you or something. I got the Ace of Cups. This is all about love. This is about a love relationship. This is about self-love and this is about understanding where that comes from for you. This can be extending love to another person. This can be starting a new love relationship of some sort. In this situation, it almost feels like you're being called upon to look at, um, oh wow, your relationships with other people in a totally different way. Um, you or someone else, this is, and I don't mean to sound like a bossy boss, but there may be someone in this situation who instead of giving love, they've kind of been giving a lot of control. And it may be time to start looking at that. Yeah, look at that. I got the King of Swords out again, right there with the King of Swords, right? It's time to talk about things. First, we had you in the reverse with this guy, right? M may have stepped in at somebody around you, may have said something they shouldn't have said. All right, and now, like I said, with the Ace of Swords right there and needing to, make, uh, needing to say something, we have you in the upright here with the King of Swords this time, really, really ready to speak your truth, okay? I like it when you start giving me doubles right away because that tells me you're getting clear about yourself and your energy. I like it a ton. Um, <laughs> I... This, here's the thing, with this King of Swords in the upright here, you, like I said, with this, this Three of Wands over here at the end, you are the driving force as to how this looks in the future. You are the one that by extending this Ace of Cups to whatever this situation is, you are the one in the driver's seat as to how this turns out, as to what this looks like in the future. Because you have a very big voice. You have a very powerful voice. And you have a lot of, um, because you come in as this Empress, all, albeit in the reverse, um, I know that you already run your own empire. It's not looking so great right now for whatever reason, but but you have in the past run this very, very well. And that is why you are in the driver's seat here. That is why you have been given so much power. With great power comes great responsibility. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got the world card here, yeah. Um, honestly, we could really, really start this relationship all anew is kind of what it feels like. And, and it's really an ending. Really, it's you putting an ending to the way things have been done in the past, either from yourself or accepting it from another person and really, really looking at how this relationship has stacked up over time and really looking very hard at yourself and this other person who is involved, um, whether this is a romantic relationship or whether this is a family dynamic or whether this is career, I don't know. Um, but these are kind of the energies that are coming across this table. And with this world card coming out, the world is usually an ending of a massive cycle in your life. I always say that it's closing the chapter on the book, closing the whole book, putting it on the shelf and starting the next volume of yourself. But really within this relationship, that's that's kind of what it feels like. It's like, we got to get this out. We got to get this over with. We got to start talking to one another and we have to tell the truth about what's really been going on here and where I have had some failings within myself, where I may have been not feeling like my best self here, maybe brushing some of these red flags that I've been seeing under the rug for way too long. And maybe it's time to start all over and maybe come from a different perspective, a, a, a perspective of offering love and support as opposed to um, just always needing to be right in the situation. 
okay? Because it's great to be right. It's wonderful to be right. I love being right. However, sometimes it's not necessary. And it's really just not. Sometimes you don't even have to be right and it's okay. I know, right? What? What is this Eight of Cups? Thank you. And this Five of Wands right here. Five of Pentacles on top of this. Okay, this this is such a bizarre card. I love it. Um, this is this is the Star Power Tarot. It's a wicked deck. I love it. But this um, zombie lady has this the word "some give more." On the Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles is usually someone who feels quite left out. Um, they can be financially struggling. They can be someone who feels kind of disconnected um, from people in their social sphere or from their family um, or friends. Some give more with this Ace of Cups. It's it, In this particular deck, it almost asks you to look at giving in a different way and receiving in a different way too. Where can you extend yourself in a different direction? How can you extend yourself in a more loving way? Okay. Is, thank you. All right, so yeah, okay, so I was asking, I was gonna say, what is this Five of Wands about? You know, we're talking about drama, whether it's internal to yourself or whether it's external coming at you from a different source. And this Eight of Cups really, really wishing that you could disconnect from it, but for some reason, it just kind of keeps coming back around. And it's, it may be that you're tied to this person. Again, maybe maybe you work with them, maybe it's, maybe it's not a relationship that you can end, you know? Um, it's not in your power to. And so you really just have to deal with it, okay? Now, this Nine of Pentacles right here is someone who lacks a lot of independence. They're a codependent energy. And it's very similar because the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress, the Minor Arcana version of the Empress for me. And you've got the Empress here, okay? So whenever this is in the reverse like this, oh, specifically it's the card of Virgo, if that matters to you at all, but beyond zodiac signs and that sort of thing, um, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's rather codependent. Okay, someone who doesn't feel like they can do it on their own. All right, now we have the temperance in reverse. It's the card of Sagittarius, um, but really it's, temperance is about balance. Whenever we have it in the reverse, we have someone who is feeling off balance, yes, yes, but someone who's having a hard time expressing themselves and they're really struggling with self-discipline in some kind of situation. And that is really where this drama is coming from. Um, you may be seeing immature behaviors in another person that is driving you mad and possibly it's caused you to say some things or to feel off balance within yourself because you feel like you don't have a lot of control over the situation and yet you're left holding the bag here. Hmm. And at this point, it doesn't really matter. It, what really matters is how much of this drama do we still want in our lives? Is this something that we can move on from and just agree that, and though you feel like you're right, that you don't have to say it out loud. <laughs> I know. Okay. I just feel like this annoyance in my chest right here. And again, <laughs> this thing was sticking to my other deck. That's speaking your truth. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say everything that I wanted to say is really what you say. Okay. All right. Tell me how this gets better because I have you with this three of wands and you really being in control of this situation. This eight of wands is about communication. It's about fast moving, direct conversation, okay? Now, here's the scary part. I got the eight of wands here, and it's kind of coming out here with this ace of wands here, which is like highly inflammatory, right? And the eight plus the one equals nine, and when we have the nine of wands, well, that's our wounded warrior card, all right? And that's somebody who starts putting up boundaries all over again, and so I caution you with this eight of wands energy to do take care with the way that you express yourself to this person. However, whether it's you or someone else, someone in this relationship has a tendency to pop off and say things that might be a little bit unkind from time to time. Some things that hurt other people. I encourage this to not be you because because you just don't need that in your energy field. You don't need the energy of hurting another person in your energy field, right? Life's hard enough already, right? So let's just make sure that's not you. And I know it won't be because you're smart, right? What is this Nine of Cups and how do we get there? 
We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Um, basically, that means it's time for you to take action in this situation. You're going to have to be the one that heals this situation. Um, and stop waiting for it to get better because it's not going to get better on its own. This is something that you will have to tend to. You will have to tend to this garden because no one else is going to do it here. Ah, oh, man, what did I say? So much uh, burden on your shoulders. It seems like I got the knight of wands in reverse. You're like, yeah, I don't want to have to do any of it because that's very much you. You're knight of wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? You're like, man, I shouldn't have to be the one that apologizes. I shouldn't have to do it. They should come to me. They should know that they're the ones that are in the wrong. Guess what? They don't. They're on a completely different page from you. All right, I'm going to get, do I need any more from this deck? Man, y'all got a lot to say to yourselves for some reason. <laughs> yeah, now I got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We got two Knights in reverse, one right on top of the other. Um, this is, again, the Knight of Pentacles, he's a very, very wise guy, except for whenever he's in the reverse. And then he's somebody who doesn't pay attention. Like I said, he's immature. He makes bad choices. He makes bad decisions with money. He makes bad decisions with education and what he wants to do with his life. He really doesn't know where he's going. It's kind of a wishy-washy energy, okay? And... This Knight of Wands energy is very inflammatory. It's very um, burn it down kind of energy. And now these two together, this is not going to be a healthy combination. All right. I feel like one of these is you and one of you is the other person. And I sense the frustration between yourself and possibly even this other person if they're even aware. That's the key. I'm not even sure they're aware of what they like. I'm not sure. My point is... You're not going to be changing anyone in this situation anytime soon. And so all you can do is be responsible for the 100% of yourself that you're going to bring to the table here. Because it's not going to be a 50-50 thing, okay? You can't expect this person to be at that level if they haven't been in the past. Uh, sure, growth can happen, but you can't expect it, all right? So you have to bring your best self. Let me get one more deck out here. I'm just going to use the traditional Rider weight Tarot here. I just want a couple more cards out here for you guys because this is kind of a tough road to hoe, no joke. And it really calls upon you to be a much, much bigger person. And I get that you're tired of it because you feel like you have been. However, it doesn't really matter because at this point, things still aren't going the way you want them to. So we got to do something. Yeah. Look at that. We got the six of swords. So we got to move on to something else. We got to take all the information that we have and we got to get everybody out and we just got to get it back. We got to get out of this murky water over here that comes from not cleaning things out, not taking, not tending to things um, fast enough. And we got to row out to calmer seas where we don't have to deal with all this drama right here. Okay. And again, I got the eight of cups again. All right. In reverse. It's like, I feel like, I feel like I can't get away from it. If you can't get away from it, you're going to have to learn how to love it, right? What else do we have for you? I got the Wheel of Fortune. This is good. This is good timing. This is good luck. This is good karma, okay? Extend your best self right now in this relationship, okay? Ch totally change directions. That if it if it kills you too, just say it with a smile. I know, just fake it till you make it. But... I don't mean fake it, but tell your truth. But I, even when it's hard, even when it's hard to be nice about it, do your best. Do your best to approach things with kindness, okay? Because with this karmic wheel here, you will accumulate things and you will have to... You'll have to rectify these situations later on if we don't take care of it now. So let's just take care of it now. Since this world card and this wheel of fortune are both here, now's the time, right, to clean this up, whatever it is, so we don't drag this into the next phase of life with us. Okay, we're ready to start something new once we close this out. So let's not bring this baggage with us. Let's clean it up now. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Because if you're going to be chained to this person for whatever reason you know, for, for however long, we just got to make it look a different way. Okay. All right. Anything else you guys want to say about that? Thank you. Yeah. Eight of swords in reverse. It's time. That's very similar to that. Um, high priestess in reverse energy. We can't keep brushing things under the rug. We really have to talk about the truth. Okay. We have to talk about it. 
and we have to get it out in the open because we have been kind of putting our head, burying our head in the sand like an ostrich and not dealing with things for quite some time. And now it's time to stop doing that is what it feels like. Anything else? You guys, y'all are just on fire lit. That five of wands in reverse again. Like we're just gonna get the same reading out so we can just stop now is basically what I hear. But this is what I'm telling you. You have the opportunity to turn this around, okay? You, this is you. This is your energy because you're giving it to me twice. That tells me it's present and that tells me you are in control. All right. And you are because you're Aries. You are the boss. All right. You are the Mac daddy and you are gorgeous and you just empower um, so much um admiration from others in yourself and people look up to you and people admire you so much. Um, you have a big energy. I want it to be directed in the most positive ways for you so that you receive that back with this wheel of karma, this wheel of fortune. Uh, the better things you put out because your energy is so big, the more goodness you will receive back. But it goes the other way too, right? And it's something to be conscious of. All right, I love you so much. Thank you Let thank you for letting me read for you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can. All that information is over in the About section of this channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I get to see you again. All right. Love you guys a ton. Bye.